my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share how we are going to be doing Black History Month in our homeschool this February right now. So I'm so excited, you guys, to share with you everything that we're gonna be doing, all of the books, all of the resources, all of the everything. So you guys go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, three, and two and I'm in my second year of homeschooling. You guys, I'm really excited about Black History Month. We had so much fun in our first year of homeschooling for Black History Month. I really kept it simple, but this year, you guys, I'm gonna amp it up just a little teeny bit. I actually have a plan for our Black History Month. Last year, uh, we really just did a lot of reading. Uh, we watched a lot of documentaries. We really had a lot of fun, uh, but I guess I just wanna add a little bit more icing on the cake uh, this year. And and I hope you guys can uh, get inspired by uh, some of these books that I'm going to show you, uh, what we're going to be doing, and you can implement some of these things in your homeschool. So I have a list right here on my phone because you guys, I seriously have serious mom brain. Like <laughs> it's really, really bad. Ever since I had my last daughter, I really uh, am having a hard time like remembering a lot of things. I'm trying to work on it uh, as best as I can. So I have some notes in my phone. If I look down, just uh, don't worry. That's why I'm looking down. So, um, yeah. So, you guys, the first thing I want to go ahead and say uh, for Black History Month, if you guys are hesitant, you don't know where to start with Black History Month, you can really just keep it as simple as just uh, celebrating Black voices, reading a lot of picture books, going to your local library. Uh, you can keep it as simple as that. And that's really what I did last February. To really be honest with you guys, I really focus on black history throughout our homeschool um, so it's not really a big thing for black history month just because we do it throughout the year uh, that's really something that's important for me to allow my daughter to see black voices just throughout everything whether we're studying science or uh, history or wherever we are studying I always have like some type of black voice so she's able to see it so um, yeah so it, Black History Month is special uh, because we do put a little bit bigger emphasis, but it's really all throughout um, our homeschool. So this month, you guys, I want my daughter to learn Lift Every Voice and Sing. Um, last year, I started to allow her to uh, learn it. She didn't learn the whole thing. I think she only learned the first stanza of Lift Every Voice and Sing. However, I want her to learn uh, just the whole song, Lift Every Voice and Sing. So we're gonna be working on that and I'm really excited. So right after we do our Bible time, uh, we will be singing Lift Every Voice and Sing. I really don't know if my three and my two you wrote are really going to you know learn any of it they might just like hum the tune a little bit but uh for my oldest daughter brielle uh yes i do want her to uh, learn it and i really think that it's going to be fun it's going to uh, allow us to have a little bit of extra music uh within our homeschool the second thing that I wrote down here on my list is that the focus for our Black History Month is going to be famous African Americans in science and in medicine. After this month, we are actually going to be doing our human body unit study in our God's Design for Life. And I really think that it's gonna be a good Kickstarter uh, before we get into our human body unit to focus on um, all of the African American influences in medicine and in science. And I definitely think uh, my daughter is going to enjoy that. So some of the resources and the books that I have for us to do that is we are going to be using our, and I know you guys see these all around YouTube, but they are just really amazing. But we're going to be using the Little Legends Exceptional Men in Black History. And then we're also going to be using the Little Leaders Bold Women in Black History. So I actually used, these were only my, these were my only two resources that I used last year as far as Black History Month. Um, and they were amazing. They were great. It was a really good kicking off point uh, for our uh, Black History Month. So I'm really excited to use these. However, like I said before, I'm going to be only pulling out and focusing on the famous African Americans that are in uh, medicine and in science. And I really think my daughter's going to enjoy it. She loved these books and I really think that they're going to enjoy me putting them back out 
on um, our bookshelf. Now for my two little ones, I have the little book right here, which is called Dream Big Little Ones, uh, which is kind of like the same as these older ones. However, it's like in a board book form and it's so cute. I love reading these ones to my uh, toddlers and they're gonna be very excited to uh, for me to pull them back out. I did have the one that had the uh, the men on it. However, I gave it to my nephew because I really feel like he's going to enjoy it. My brother actually told me he enjoys when um, he reads that one to him. So yes, so I only have the one for the women. I need to go back and buy the one about the men as well, just because I want my, my girls to see uh, influence within black women and men in, uh, in um, American history. So uh, yeah. Now, as far as our read aloud for um, the month of February, we're actually going to be reading Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. And I'm so excited to read this book with my daughter. Um, and I know we're going to have some really, really juicy conversations um, while we're reading this. And I'm really, really excited about it. Now, as you guys know, as far as our read alouds, I do allow my daughter to pick the read alouds for every other month. However, I picked it this month and I hope she enjoys this. I really want to get her into um, historical fiction. And I really feel like this is gonna be a good jumping uh, point for us as far as American history, we have not yet dived into American history. For her fifth grade year, we will go deeper into American history. However, I think this is gonna be a good start and I really cannot wait to hear what she thinks, her opinions, uh, and uh, I really can't wait to dive in deep into this Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. Hopefully she loves it. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be our read aloud for this month. Now some other books and other things I wanna share with you guys is um, I have also the ABCs of Black, of Black History. And this is a new one that I'm adding to our library. I also have the timeline from Black History, Leaders, Legends, and Legacies. And this one, you guys, was a recommendation from Tori from the Oglesby Ohan. Um, that was where I originally seen this one from. I have a lot of these DK Encyclopedia books. However, um, I'm so excited to add this one to our collection. You guys, the pictures in here, it's beautiful. Um, it goes from the beginning to the end, or not really to the end, but it goes from the beginning of um, Black History. Uh, it starts in ancient times and it goes all the way as far as it can into present time so I really am going to enjoy using this book as a resource we have already pulled out this book because it's been an amazing resource for us as far as our um, geography study we've been doing this year which has been the amazing Africa um, the Amazing Africa pack from the Heritage Mom blog. It's been amazing. And this actually has been a great tool that I've been pulling in when we have been doing our geography study. So um, I'm so excited about this book. The pictures are beautiful and yeah, it's just great. So along with us learning about um, or our focus on famous African Americans in medicine and science, I also want to incorporate um, African Americans in our poetry tea time. So our poet this year has been Maya Angelou. So when we do our poetry tea time for this month of February, we are going to be reading about Maya Angelou again, and that's gonna be like our arts for um, African American history. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, my daughter has already read like almost half of these poems. So we're gonna have to go back from the, to the beginning and read some more of Maya Angelou's poems. But I definitely uh, want to infuse this into our poetry tea time and I think it's gonna be amazing. Uh, so yeah, so I have this book right here and it's called Poetry for Young People by Maya Angelou. So this is something we actually already started at the beginning of our school year for poetry tea time. So I just feel like it's just gonna be a little bit extra special for uh, this month. Another book I have that we haven't dived into and the only reason why is that I don't have a CD a CD player and I need to go to my mom's house and borrow hers which is Hip Hop Speaks to Children a celebration of poetry with beat and I'm really excited to use this book when we do our poetry tea times on Fridays this month we're going to be doing poetry tea time every Friday hopefully I can stick with it I actually been doing pretty good with poetry tea time in our homeschool but um I want to make this month's poetry tea time really really special so I need to grab her CD player so we can actually listen to the poems and uh, follow along with it so I'm I'm really excited to use this as far as like our uh, arts type of African-American history. 
Now, as far as someone else we're gonna be studying for like the arts and for Fridays when it's gonna be our poetry tea time, it's going to be Misty Copeland. I have this really beautiful book called Firebird. This is one of her, um, uh, picture books that she has made and it's amazing. So we're going to be doing this as far as our poetry tea time, like arts and poetry. I also have this book right here, which is called, um, American Girl, A Girl Named Misty. And this actually just goes on the history about her life and everything like that. I actually already read this one with Brielle when she was a lot younger. Um, however, I think it's gonna be fun to kind of do like a arts poetry study on Fridays, just to kind of break it up. I really wanna give her like a good variation in uh, this month of February. Now, something else that I do have and I wanna share with you guys, which is a free resource from, um, what is it called? From Puzzle Huddle. They actually have free um, African American or Black History uh, coloring sheets. So if you want your kids to just have like coloring sheets, uh, they have a whole bunch of them. I just printed off a few because my daughter, she loves coloring. And uh, even though not all these people are people in um, science and medicine, I still think she's going to um, enjoy coloring. I also have, um, of course I have these, which is the world of colors. I have the markers and the crayons. This is a perfect opportunity for us to pull these out uh, from our homeschool supply closet. I normally have them out, but now we can use them uh, even more. And that is really just an additional resource that I have. Um, my daughter, she loves coloring while I'm reading to her. So I think that that's gonna be a good way to still infuse that influence um, in this month. Now, another thing that I'm going to be doing is, of course, I do have to still challenge my daughter academically. Uh, she is in the fourth grade. She's in upper elementary, and I am going to incorporate some writing, and we're gonna be using this uh, template right here so she can start writing some short bibliographies of these uh, African-American um, people that she's going to be learning about. And I definitely think she is going to enjoy it. I actually have, um, we actually used this same template last year. Uh, she did an awesome job writing her paragraphs and I really helped I really feel like it actually helped her form her paragraphs and her more structured paragraphs by writing and doing these bibliographies last year. Uh, and I'm really excited for her to do them again this year. Um, however, I may go through her writing with a little bit more of a fine tooth comb. I'm really going to uh, challenge her as far as that. Uh, we are going to have fun. However, this is going to be our uh, main history for this month. So I do want to still uh, incorporate that academic standard that I have for my daughter uh, to as well <laughs> so you guys this is everything that we are going to be doing for black history month i really hope you can kind of take away how simple it is to incorporate uh, black history in your homeschool uh, this month so you guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you leave feeling inspired and i cannot wait to see everybody in my next one bye